Now, the day's big story. Soon Americans may find every private email they write could be opened, copied and inspected by government snoopers. The latest cybersecurity bill called CISPA has passed the House of Representatives coming a step closer than to becoming law. President Obama, though, has threatened to veto that act if it does get through in the Senate. He's citing civil liberty concerns as the reason for the threat. Uh, CISPA's raised a massive outcry with Internet users and freedom activists who say it's a hard hit on people's privacy. Let's get some reaction from Dr. Richard Stallman. He's president of the Free Software Foundation. He's in Tunis with us tonight. Doctor, thanks for being on the program. We really appreciate your time. What exactly is it a fear about CISPA? If its prime motive is to improve cyber security, which affects us all, I thought I'd just put that to you, like the touch paper, and let you go. Tell us what you think. Well, the motive is not what's important. What's important about any law is what is its effect. Now, what CISPA says, as passed by the House of Representatives, is that any ISP or website or any company that has some of your data in it can voluntarily hand this over to the government on a wide range of, uh, for a wide range of reasons to be interpreted by them. And so if they see the slightest bit that they think of as odd in your email, they can look at it and then they can hand it over to the government. And if the government says it has something to do with national security, it's very easy to say that, whether it's true or not, then the government can study it for any purpose. So this nearly abolishes people's right not to be uh, unreasonably searched which is in the U.S. Constitution. All right, heavy-handed, but is any of it necessary? I mean, cybersecurity, is it a huge issue in an age when the Internet's inseparable from so many people's lives? I mean, surely doesn't CISPA offer a reasonable sacrifice and being devil's advocate here in, the, in that letting some hacker have your data is worse than letting the government have it? Wait a second. I'm, I'm a hacker, which means I enjoy playful cleverness. That's what it means to be a hacker. Now, you may be thinking of people who break security. I call them crackers. But the government is a much worse threat. Governments are far more powerful than people acting on their own underground clandestinely as criminals or whatever. And so we must protect ourselves from abuse of government power, first of all. And secondarily, of course, there are other people who might do us harm, and the government could conceivably help protect us from them, but that's a secondary. Should other countries... So governments that don't respect human rights, those are the most important threat we must constantly protect ourselves from. So what to do about it now? I mean, CISPA potentially has got the power to override laws protecting privacy and reach users, of course, outside America through US-based internet companies. It's not just America confined. Should other countries intervene, do you think, to protect their citizens' personal data? Well, they should do that regardless of CISPA, whether CISPA passes or not. If you store any data in a US company, that company, with few exceptions, is legally required to hand that data over to the U.S. government without even a search warrant. So I think both individuals and governments should take precautions to make sure that their citizens' data is not being handed over to U.S. companies or their foreign subsidiaries, which are subject to that same hypocritically named quote, patriot, unquote, act. We've seen a real rash of legislation and pacts in recent months all about the same kind of thing. Why is this all happening now? Uh, I really don't know, but I don't think CISPA is SOPA too. SOPA was pushed mainly by the publishing industry and it was to give them the total support of the government in their war against sharing. Now that's a completely evil purpose. People should be free to share. Sharing, which means non-commercial redistribution of exact copies, should be legal for any published work. Well, we defeated SOPA. CISPA is something somewhat different. Uh, Cybersecurity is not an invalid goal. But of course, it doesn't justify doing terrible harm just because you're doing it in the name of a valid goal.
Mm. Very briefly, we've only got a couple of seconds. Do you think CISPA will make it all the way onto the law books? I can't see the future. Uh, it's unusual for Obama to stand up for human rights, but if he will, I'm glad. <laughs> Before you go, what was your definition of a hacker again? What did you say you were? Playful. Hacking is pl playful cleverness. <laughs> and if you, you're a hacker is someone who likes to do that. I'll put that in the book of phrases to remember. Dr. Richard Stormer, president of the Free Software Foundation. Thanks ever so much for being on the program. Happy hacking. <laughs> All right.